In this video, I'm going to go over how to install the Cinema 4D plugin for After Effects. So to start, open up your browser and navigate to Maxon's website, www.maxoncomputer.com or maxon.net. Now if you go to downloads, there is an update section. So click on that. Once you get there, uh, navigate to your version of Cinema 4D. For me, that is 11.5. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what you actually want to do is go to the plugins link. Go to plugins. And then you have uh, the plugins for After Effects. And what we want is the the plugin that is most appropriate for our version of Cinema 4D. And the one I'm using uh, in this video is 11.5. So I'm going to use the plugin for After Effects CS5 to 11.5. And my version of After Effects is 5.5. That should work just fine. And I'm going to download that. Uh, your computer, if you're lucky, will uh, unzip that. Navigate to the folder that's appropriate for your operating system. For me, that's OS 10 extract that and you're going to see something that says Cinema 4D AE plugin. Once you've done that, go to your applications folder. Uh, if you're on a PC, it's going to be uh, My Computer C Windows or excuse me, My Computer C Program Files, Win32, something like that. Navigate to your Adobe After Effects folder. And once you're in there, go to the Plugins folder and go to Format. Inside of Format, drag in your Cinema 4D AE plugin, and that will install it. Now, I've already installed it here, so uh, no need for me to copy it over, but that's what you should do. Once you've done that, in Cinema 4D, you'll be able to add a camera, animate it, even add lights and in your render settings in your output uh, there are all these frames out render out a QuickTime movie you have the option here of using a compositing project file and this is what we're going to use to make use of that After Effects plugin turn on save target application is After Effects include 3D data uh, you can just leave relative on there and whenever you render out your whole animation, it's going to save the project file by default. And I'm just going to save this as AE test and render this all out. Looks like my camera's not animating. Let me just uh, make sure it does. There we go. Render that out 90 frames later. I'm going to be able to go into After Effects and import the C4D project file that was created. Now, if I go into uh, my render location, you can see that I just rendered out um, my AE test.move, and just above that is something called an AEC file, and that's the specific format for the Cinema 4D to After Effects exchange. And you can't open those directly uh, by double-clicking, but you can import them into a project bin in After Effects. So what I'm going to do is drag that into my bin in After Effects once After Effects is loaded. And it's going to import something with the same name as my scene file. Inside of that, any of the movies I've rendered out, as well as a comp that has the position of my lights and my camera actively working in 3D. So if I wanted to create a new solid or text in After Effects and make that a 3D layer as my camera moves my text is fitting in seamlessly with my pre-rendered animation. So that is the basics of how to install the Cinema 4D to After Effects 
uh, plugin and also uh, the very simplest case for usage.